in my career since I joined Moto2 has not been super easy uh, overall. It was really difficult to, to keep the spirit super high, but I'm a guy that um, I really want to stay here, to go fast and to, to achieve my goals. And also with my, my staff, my, my friends, my family, also my girlfriend, they helped me a lot also to, to keep this mentality. Sometimes it's tough to say, but uh, in Moto2 and then in MotoGP, uh, I was not enjoying so much because I really wanted to, to, to win, but not just win, to do a good job. Every time I was missing something, so for some reasons it was like uh, up and down moments, so every, everybody, like also media and stuff, ah, you are inconsistent, so it was tough to manage because I know I knew the reasons, but well, I could not say. And uh, but at the end, I could not, I cannot change anything. And the MotoGP was much worse because at the end, the, here the level is super, super high. So you really have to be perfect. Mentally, I just try and really working a lot on myself alone at the moment. But I, I really try to to study, let's say, a lot from podcasts, uh, movies, or uh, series. I'm trying to find a way and I'm finding a way to be much more uh, on a night than alone. The biggest help that I have is from the, the people that are really close, close to me. They give you like a, a, a big, big, not inspiration, but way of see the things, you know? So if you choose well the, the people around you, then for sure you can elevate yourself. And last year was, was tough because honestly, I think I'm, I, I can be one of the ones there because all the riders of my generation, we grew up together and we, we visited each other many times. So I think that I, I can be there. At the end with Dene, I'm, I'm friend with him since we, we were little kids, so. Ciao ragazzi, qui è Digia, Vestia, Cree. Stiamo andando al Days of Champions. Bella. In English, do you put it in English? Uh, no, it, it was just giving me a lot of uh, motivation and also it was giving me like a push instead of uh, envy time because it's like we grew up together, we did everything together, we, we battled many many times together. If he can do it, he is good but I can do it also. So it was almost opposite than the, a lot of people think. And last year I think was not the perfect package for me. I'm trying to focus on riding style, on how to go fast as a rider, and it's much more enjoyable. I think it's just a matter of time. We are building. Honestly, this year is a, it's like my rookie year, let's say. With Frankie, we are taking it like a rookie year. <laughs> I'm learning many, many things, many, many skills also, that last year I was not learning through the year. On the bike is not big, big differences, but about how we put the, the bike, like setup, electronic side, is really, really, really different. Because Frankie came and said, okay, remove last year, let's start from zero, and we restarted in a completely new way. We are coming, we are not so far as it, uh, as it looks. The Ducati seems that is the best bike at the moment in, in MotoGP, uh, so you know that you have a great package in, in your hands, so for sure, a lot of people, especially from the outside, they say that if you have the best package, why you don't do it? I feel, but it, it doesn't affect me. At the end, I'm doing, I'm here also to, to do a good job. You know, I'm not here just to, to get hit the seat, let's say. <laughs> the realistic goal with the potential that we have is to be is easily in top 10. But the goal is to, to achieve podiums. I would love to, to start to win with this team and I would love to, to put my name on the, on the list of the winners of, of this team. And then in the future, why not on a factory bike? I think in, in MotoGP to try to, to win as many championships as possible or a championship, you need to have the, the best and the best is a factory bike. So why not in the future?